Hey, Daniel, welcome to Kansas State. Um, can you tell me what went into your decision-making process to uh, leave Illinois and come finish out your, your career here? What went into my decision-making process? Yeah, why'd you decide on the Wildcats? Yeah, um, last year was the year first with the pandemic and quarantine and everything changing. And it's really hard to think that a year ago today, I was still at USC, you know, and so, um, the way everything played out, um, you know, I've been through so much in my career and fighting to get the opportunity to play my last year, not knowing that, not knowing if we were going to play or not in the Pac-12 is what led me to Illinois and then getting there and, um, our season getting canceled and put back on. And then, um, our whole coaching staff ended up getting fired. And so, change has been just as constant for me. And um, I felt, I feel like I'm somebody that's persistent. And um, when I figured out our coaching staff got fired, I was like, man, I need to make sure that I'm finishing my career the way that I know I can. And um, somebody would love me here. Is there anything about Kansas State's uh, system, the way they use tight ends, that seems uh, especially appealing to you? Yeah, I love um, the fact that it's a pro-style offense. It's an offense that um, really prepares you for the next level. Multiple tight end sets, a lot of shifts and trades and motions. And um, Coach Mess, as a play caller, he's known for just putting the ball in the hands of his playmakers and um, getting to put my hand in the pile and be, be a part of what we're building here is, is it, it was an opportunity. I don't think I could have passed up. And I, I don't know, you know, all the de details about your injury history, but how, how hard has it been for you to stay healthy? And are you feeling good right now? I feel good. Yeah, I feel great. Okay. All right. Short and sweet. Thanks, man. Welcome to K-State again. Appreciate it. Fitz. How difficult has this been, man? I mean, you, you bounce from L.A. to Champaign to now Manhattan. It's got to be a real challenge for a young guy. Yeah, I mean, I think my faith in God is what's sustained me, honestly. Um, I don't really think of it as this massive difficulty, but it's something that's refined me a ton. And it's forged this character and um, – it's such an enriching experience, man, honestly. And uh, I wouldn't trade my journey as unconventional as it might seem to whoever else for the world, truly. Um, this game has afforded me this opportunity to see the country, to get to be teammates and brothers with all types of people, um, to I have a ton of stories that I could tell and relate with people for the rest of my life. And so it's something that I'm truly so grateful for um, and something that I appreciate. Um, not so much look at as this challenge, but I mean, me now versus me coming out of high school, I think I've grown a lot. Um, being able to be in a place that's like, I'm still not close to home where I'm from in Atlanta, but you know, knowing how to be in a place and take care of myself and um, just do the things that I know I need to do. Um, I'm grateful for it, you know, because I've, I've learned it all along the way. LA, Atlanta, Manhattan, Kansas, all very similar places. Um, right. <laughs> third offense that you've had to learn, which, which sounds awful, difficult, but that's got to really expand your knowledge of football to, to have that much kind of thrown at you in a short period of time. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Um, and I appreciate that as well. It's it's all a part of the rich, rich experience that I was kind of talking about. Because at this time last year at USC, we Coach Harrell, the Air Raid, um, going to Illinois, they run more of the Rich Rodriguez system um, with the options and uh, zone reads and, and things like that. And, and coming here to like a true pro style offense, um, it's the first time I've ever had to be in a huddle before, you know, <laughs> and so it's, uh, it's cool. It's like, I love learning you know, and I love, um, being able to expand, uh, just my knowledge base and, and build on what I 
have already done. Yeah, Kel, let's kind of ask you about you fitting into this offense, but did you look at what they did with Briley Moore, a guy that was in a similar situation to you in one year and how, how well he was used? Yeah, yeah, I did. I looked a lot into that. Um, I was really impressed on film. Briley's just an amazing football player. Um, getting to watch him, he plays with, with great tenacity and he moves really well for his size and um, watching him and uh, all the game cutups and film that myself and Coach Mass watched um, while I was in the portal, definitely. Um, it gave me this picture of, man, like, I feel like I could do the same thing. I feel like I can, um, you know, fit in a similar way he can, but different because we're, we're totally different players. But I got a lot of admiration and respect for Bradley. He's um, he's actually training uh, at the same facility as my brother. So we've uh, communicated a little bit and uh, looking forward to get more time with him in the future. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you and welcome to K-State. Thank you, man. John. Yeah, Daniel, how would you say your skill set as a tight end compares to, say, Briley Moore, who K-State fans watched last year? Um, it's, it's hard because, you know, me and him didn't really get to play here at the same time. So I, all I know is what I've got to see uh, from the games and the clips and um, the film and everything. But I mean, I'm going to, I feel like I'm a uh, impact player in the run game, impact player in the pass game. Um, I feel like for me, I'm going to try to stretch the field and win one-on-ones and um, try the best I can to own the middle of the field, move the chains, um, try to be a threat in the red zone, um, win a lot with my hands. Um, but Riley's just, a, Riley's just a ball player, you know, and he loves – it seems like he's tenacious and um, he wants to win, and I, I would put myself in that same classification. Yeah, throughout your career, how tough have the injuries been to deal with and, and how much do you feel like that's held you back at times? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting because, you know, nobody really knows my story unless you've talked to me. You know, and um, I got hurt at USC. Um, that's pretty much the only injury I've had. And I've never really spoke publicly on my pain or anything that I've been through. But it's been uh, probably the same answer that um, my man asked me earlier about how tough has it been going from uh, just being in different places, like trying to take good perspective on it. It's helped me grow a ton. You know, and it's something I'm grateful for and something that um, I've used um, and will continue to use to just make me a better person, a better player, um, not take things for granted. So, but, yeah. And then last thing I was going to ask you, you've been obviously a number of different programs and some big time college football programs. How does what K-State has as far as facilities and kind of infrastructure and everything with the program compare to what you've seen at, at places like Florida and USC? How does it compare in terms of? Yeah, facilities and just what the what the program's like in general. Yeah, I mean, I think every program's different. Um, gosh, I was at Florida and I was basically supposed to be a senior in high school such a long time ago. Hard to remember, really. Uh, um, what I can remember about there, uh, the guys in terms of the guys I was going against, guys on our team, freak of nature, athletes, you know, totally different vibe. At USC, you're at one of the, you know, blue bloods of college football, insane tradition, insane um, just heritage. Um, playing in places like the Coliseum and um, getting to rub elbows with the Marcus Allens and the Willie McGinnis and um, people of that nature. It was, it was awesome. And here, I, I just feel like there's just this culture of work, you know, hard work and um, blue collar attitude. I can appreciate it a lot. Getting to play for somebody like Coach Ku is um, such a, just, he's a different leader because he's, his methods are just um, 
I don't know. It's different than anything I've ever been around and I love it. Um, and so I just think, yeah, this place, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a grinder type of place. Like I've never seen so many guys get in extra work. I've never seen so many guys, uh, live in the film room. And so I think that would be the biggest difference that I see.